Oh boy, downtown St. Louis will be filled today with the smell. In fact, I bet it is already. Mm -hmm. The smell of hot dogs and popcorn and beer. <sighs> All of that mm. and much more is on the menu at Bush Stadium this opening day. Our Paige Holsey joins us live from Ballpark Village in downtown St. Louis with a preview of the new eats. And Paige, I swear, as we headed into the break, I was looking at a hot dog with two over easy eggs on top. Did I make that up? <laughs> No, no, that is reality this season here at Bush Stadium. We're just outside the stadium in Ballpark Village where fans are filing in. They are claiming their picnic tables ready for that pep rally that starts in about 40 minutes. And those tables are going to be filled with drinks and food very soon. And speaking of food, here it is. It was not um, uh, a figment of your imagination, Matt. You have the Slinger Dog. And to tell us all about it, Vicki Bryant. So, Vicki, tell me about some of this new food available this year at Bush Stadium. I brought you two of my favorites today. This is um, the St. Louis Slinger Dog. So um, it is a nice Fazio bun with um, ha but hash browns, a third pound all beef hot dog topped with nacho meat and two eggs. So it's a share it with a friend. Yeah, or I, just say, go I for had it. to request a fork and a knife to dig into this. And this one, I think my boys would really like this because French fries at the ballpark. I mean, that's the way to go. Explain this one. So we sell more nachos than any ballpark in the country. People love nachos, so a new twist on nachos this year. Um, the nacho fry, nacho supreme fry. Mm -hmm. So it's our nacho supreme that everyone loves with the taco meat and salsa and cheese and sour cream, jalapenos, but on a bed of french fries. Okay, so these are great, but the ballpark is so big. How do you know where to go to get this stuff? Because it's not going to be at every food stand. No, it's so easy. All you do is go to the ballpark app, which is the app that your tickets are on. Go to the fan food guide and every item in the ballpark is listed A to Z and what the location is and you'll find anything you want in the ballpark. You make it easy. That's great. What I love about Cardinals baseball in general is just the stories that come out of them. And Vicki has such an incredible story as well. This is her 44th opening day that you've been a part of. Is that right? It is. I started when I was five, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> and your mom, even too, was part of uh, the Cardinals family. My mother was the head nurse at the old ballpark. She was um, pregnant with me when she started started at Sportsman's Park and I grew up in Old Bush Stadium coming to games almost every single game and as soon as I was able to start working I started out I was a tour guide. You said this is the only place you've ever worked. It is. That's pretty incredible. A great story and great food. All of that easily found here at Ballpark Village. Really, Vicki, thank you so much for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because I think there's enough for all of those meals. Maybe some leftovers for tomorrow morning too. All right, we still have more to come here from Ballpark Village. Again, fans starting to file in for those big opening day festivities. Stay tuned. A little bit later, we're going to show you a new all-inclusive option. This one is really, really cool. Mm. We'll see you in just a few minutes here on Great Day St. Louis Live from Ballpark Village. Hey, tell Vicki congratulations for us. Isn't that, that's that cool? just so great. I just I think that's terrific. Yeah. That's that what a career and what a life. Boy, she's living her best life, isn't she? She sure is. That's awesome. The Cardinals are lucky to have her. Paige, thank you. And